Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Good to see you here again. Um, today I'm back with the 105 series and we're going to be reviewing these San Hema extendable towing mirrors that Vic Offroad have kindly sent me from Victoria. These are direct replacements for the 100 and 105 series Land Cruiser. They're extendable towing mirrors and uh, all hook up to the um, electronic adjustment inside the cab of the cruiser so yeah we're going to be doing a stock mirror comparison with these San Hema mirrors uh, looking at the install and how easy it is it took me 15 minutes and I used four tools so uh, we're going to have a look at that today and um, yeah just a general talk about the quality and what I think of these mirrors all right so gonna hook on this feed cart back here get our stock mirrors gonna hopefully see a uh, bit of a comparison GXL mirrors we want to see what kind of vision we've got I'm gonna get another car behind the feed out cart when we're towing that um, yeah and then do a bit of comparison to the new mirrors when we put them on Going for a bit of a cruise and you can see it's a bit of a dreary day so it's a bit hard to tell but you can kind of see the edge of the feed out cart there and what we can see behind it. Okay so I'm going to pull forward a bit and uh, just in a straight line. You can kind of see the vehicle back there, the auger's a bit of a pain, it's a bit in the way. You can see your vehicle back there right there so yeah visible in that mirror mostly visible in that mirror bit of a distance behind uh, I've just gotten it to flicker lights on so it's a little bit easier to see there can't quite see there because of the organ following a bit closer there. We'll go into a bit more detail about um, the comparison between the stock mirrors and the sand hemas after the install, but for now it's time to drive into the shed and install these mirrors. All right, so the first step is to lower your mirror, pull the way, your window all the way down. A little bit slow on the old girl. And then we're gonna be removing this door card there's probably not much I need to say here. Um, it's a pretty simple um, process to remove the door card. There's eight screws, three plastic trim clips. Obviously take the um, window controls out and the sur plastic surround around the door handle um, and the black plastic triangle at the top and you're pretty much right to go. Remove these three 10 mil screws and obviously unplug the mirror out of the harness. Um, and then there's one little Phillips head screw that you can back off a little bit, but don't take this all the way out. Just lift the mirror up and it'll pull out pretty simply. The new mirrors come with everything you need, um, but rather than bolts, They've actually got uh, studs that come through the mirrors and you'll be putting these flange nuts on the back. Um, I'm pretty sure they were 10 mil as well. And um, yeah, all so simple. Bolts in and the mirror plugs straight into the harness where the old one came out. And simple as that, that's one mirror installed. Okay. Um, I have my own little routine for putting the door card back on because I've done it a few times. I like to start with the plastic trim clips because they're the hardest thing to line up. After that, it doesn't really matter. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and do the other side the same and that is your two mirrors installed. Well, that was uh, probably the easiest mod I've done to this cruiser so far. Four tools, three screwdrivers and a 10 mil socket. And we've got our two mirrors on. 
Uh, yeah, like 15 minutes, I think that took me 15 minutes. I'm really happy with them. They are a quality product. The plastic is like really well made. It's not, you can just tell it's not cheap at all. They're a great quality mirror. Um, yeah, matches the snorkel, uh, adds to the blacked out look I'm kind of going for here. Yeah, both really easy to install. They're just, yeah, really well made mirrors actually. Very well thought, thought through. Everything was just plug and play. Okay, so now that I've got these fresh new San Hema mirrors on, we're going to, or we have hooked up the feed out card again. Um, so we're gonna, gonna go and tow that, do the same thing as before and see what the difference is. Cars pulled up behind me again, and you can, you can kind of see it in there. The auger's still in the way a bit, but we have a great view of it in that mirror. That's fantastic. Hey, Hannah, just um, creep up a little bit closer. All right. So we're going to see, look at that. Oh, you can see her all the way up. Come up until you're nearly touching the feed-out cart, but don't run into it. bit hard to see on that side but it is very obvious that there's a car on that side that's so much better than before yeah that's good thanks that's yeah that's fantastic i know the weather conditions are a little bit clearer but if you can compare these two side by side you can see just how much more vision you've got in these san Hema mirrors and just how much wider the view is um and of course, you get an extra wide view with the mirror down below that I haven't quite adjusted right in this video, but it is so much better. All right, let's go for a little bit of a drive. All right, pulling away and she's very obviously in that mirror. You can see her pretty well in that mirror too. It's so much clearer, isn't it? And you can still see the side of the trailer but the car behind is just so obvious. Now, just do a direct comparison right there. So that is out of gear. Like that, and like that. You can see all of the headlight there. Oh, well you can still kind of see that, but you can see further out, you can see way further out. And you can see the whole car down here in the bottom mirror. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that goes behind the auger a little bit there, so, yep. Alright, I've extended that mirror. That's oh, pretty good. Now we can adjust, can adjust that side a little bit. So that, well, there you go, look at that. You can see the whole car there, rather than it being all the way out there. That's good, adjust the mirrors as you need like that. <clears throat> this side, it's, it's pretty good there, really. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, isn't that just fantastic? Now let's have a look at how close she is. About the same distance as before, if not closer. And you might remember that at that same distance, this is about the view I had in the mirrors. Obviously this is dependent on how far left or right the car is behind the feed out cart, but this puts it in perspective a little bit. There's a little bit of a shimmer going on. These roads are pretty rough, but that's just the uh, downfall of longer mirrors, I think, is they're, they're always going to shimmer a little bit. It's probably the one thing that I'd um, criticise, but I think you get that with any set of extendable mirrors. But in saying that, they don't shimmer quite as much as a 75 series mirror. So if you want to get your hand on a pair of these San Hema mirrors, make sure you go and find Vic Off Road Australia. They'll dispatch from right here in Australia, in Melbourne in fact, um, in Victoria so um, yeah fantastic always love reviewing Australian products and working with Australian products because I know they're going to be quality they're local um, the businesses are often contactable and approachable and yeah I really suggest getting a set of these because they do uh, well first of all they look great and they're so practical um, and easy to install so I hope you found this video helpful today and I'll catch you guys next time